Hey, Reckoners, and welcome back. Today's indie game is Investigator and the Case of the Red Herring. This is a point-and-click adventure game from the Let'em Dare 33. It is a, um, unlike most other point-and-adventure games I do, this is a, uh, a whodunit. You know, uh, there's gonna be clues and interrogations and whatnot, and we're gonna try and figure out who did it. And I am not optimistic about me being able to do that. Hobby Cat. Boy, am I, boy, boy, am I glad to see you, Investigator. Who's that with you? A pleasure as always, Bobby Cat. Please let me introduce my latest sidekick, the Trauma Llama. Please don't call me a trained forensic pathologist, a sidekick, Investigator. Also, you're paying me to be here. In any case, Bobby Cat, please tell us about the victim. The Sunk Skunk, a nasty fellow, by all accounts mid-thirties, did odd jobs around the dock. He spent most of his time at the Red Herring, a local tavern, drinking and getting thrown out for brawling. He found We found him washed up on the shore of the river, quite close to the Herring. Interesting. It's a fishy business, gentlemen. No sign of fresh injuries or a struggle, but plenty of people who would have stood in line for the opportunity, if you ask me. If you don't mind, Bobby Cat, I'll have my sidekick take a look at the body. Hmm. Pass me the rubber gloves, please, investigator. And now the long-handled scalpel. And that hypodermic needle. And that giant bottle with a skull and bones label on it, please. Oh, and some cotton swabs, and perhaps the bone saw. Should I... should I be worried? No, no, the trouble is a professional. He's the best in his field. I'll take your word for it, investigator. All right, gentlemen. I'm still processing the toxicology samples. These won't be done for a bit, but I can tell you now that time of death was less than 48 hours ago, and cause of death was definitely asphyxiation, or rather, drowning. Clues. Cause of death. Definitely drowning. Just like I said. Unfortunately, my medical examinations doesn't quite corroborate Bobby Cat's initial conclusion. He has three cracked ribs, blood under his fingernails, and internal bruising. Boom. Medical examination. Good to know. Huh? Well, we can't all be Sweeney Todd over here cutting up people's bodies. Jealousy is unbecoming, Bobby Cat. Now please allow us to inspect the crime. The scene of the crime. So, oh, it's the tail, I see. He's got a tattoo. Wong. Oh boy. This is the tattoo of a local river gang, the King Crabs. Ah, you suspect a gang-related homicide? At the very least, we should be on the lookout for any fellow members seeking revenge. Boom. Cr like, even if I find all these clues, I... I will be suitably... I'll be right chuffed if I can piece everything together and figure, you know, thing out. The two happiest times in a man's life are when he buys a boat and when he sells it. <laughs> Not useful. The sunk skunk could probably have used this life preserver. Poor guy. I'm about to reach the end of, the, of my rope here. Sadly, there's no message in it. It's just your everyday discarded beer bottle. Please don't let her, kids. Thanks, Tremala. You always know just what the kids want to hear. Ah, oh, it's this. Bobbycat, why are these crates here? Huh? Oh, they just washed ashore with the victim. It was almost like he was holding them. They're just full of sardine cans. Hmm, but what's inside the cans? A crate of smuggled opium found floating near the victim. I almost missed that. Th that's opium. This is opium. Yes, it's just as I thought. You were right, Bobby Cat. This is a very fishy business indeed. You see, Bobby Cat's always right. Yeah, whatever. Screw you, Bobby Cat. You arrogant jerk. You have a. It's probably you. This is all a setup. Mm, what's this? He sold it on tightly to his wallet. Not trying to steal from the dead, are you? Tra are you with the trauma llama? Well, you know you really aren't paying me enough. Oh, look at this! Look at this! The trauma llama. It's an unpaid tab bill from the red herring. Four hundred dollars. The song of skunk must have really liked his booze. About three hundred of it is apparently for broken furniture and tableware. The victim apparently owed 400 to the owner of the red herring. Okay, so we've got half our clues. What are our options? We got suspects. Okay, we've got half the clues. Um, are these all clues that I'm supposed to gather? 
How do I close this? From the scene of the crime? Uh, or are there some other clues I can gather somewhere else? What's that? Tattoo? Yeah, how does one tattoo fur anyway? Good question, investigator. I don't really know. Why would there be mismatched feathers in the water? Mismatched feathers? I don't know what you're talking about there, investigator. Okay, let's go, let's go check the new place. Theoretically, we can come back here. This is a tangled case indeed, my friends. Bobby Cat, you said that the skunk skunk often frequented a local establishment. Yes, sir, the red herring, I believe it's called. I think it would be best to continue our investigation there. Coming, the trauma law? Eh, oh yes. Give me a minute to pack up my forensics kit. Uh, yeah, let's move on, I guess. What a car- what a colorful locale. Very hole in the wall. I'll be sure to leave a Yelp review. I'm not sure any of these denizens have done an honest day's work in their lives. That guy looks... That guy, look at that guy! He looks way honest. He's so honest. Let's talk to him first. No! I give up! I confess! I'll admit everything! What exactly are you confessing to? Everything! I did it! Oh, if I didn't, I know who did! Take me away! I demand a witness protection program! That's not how it works, Mr. Squeal. Well, why not? You have to be able to tell me what you're confessing to. Do you know the sunk skunk? Yeah, of course! I know everybody who's anybody! Me! How would you describe the sunk skunk? Oh man, that guy was crazy! Always walking around with a skateboard instead of jewelry, talking about how he hated the man! <laughs> I think you may be confusing him with the punk skunk. Oh, oh no, you're right. I know who you're talking about. The guy who played a mean saxophone and had an afro, right? No, that would be the funk skunk. Investigator, we're wasting our time. He clearly has no idea who we're talking about. Squeal the Seal claims to have known the victim, but is incapable of actually describing him. Still, he seems willing to talk, and he may be a useful source of information. Yes, well, uh, we'll do one more. What can you tell us about that lobster sitting in the corner? The mobster lobster? Oh man, oh man! I'll get in trouble if I tell you. Please, Mr. Squeal. Look, all I'm saying is, you do not want to mess with that guy, right? They say he's the son of Don Crayleon, head of the crayfish crew. The rival gang of the king crabs. Yeah, the last person who pissed him off I heard they only found bits of him floating down the river. Yikes. A taciturn mafioso, rumored to be a high-ranking member of the Crayfish Crew gang, rivals to the King Crabs. Take it easy, Mr. Squeal. Let's talk to you. He, just, he didn't say he said nothing. Do you know someone called the Sunk Skunk? <laughs> he said nothing. He? Ooh, it's a staring contest. Um, sir. No. What game are you playing there? It's solitaire. What are you, the paparazzi? I'm just gonna stare at him. Okay, goodbye. You suspicious cuss. You the bird man. Oh, it's the fuzz! What, 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 do, you, what do you want, Squawk? Do you know someone by the name of Sunk, the Sunk Skunk? The s -s Sunk Skunk? Oh, uh, uh, have you heard from that good, good for nothing? I sent him to deliver a load of my cargo a couple days ago and I haven't seen a hide or hair of that thief since then. So, you were the Sunk Skunk's boss? S -s Sir, I'm telling you, I would not give that scoundrel a letter of recommendation. Oh, uh, ouch. That's a death blow in the job market these days. <laughs> Topical. Alright, the Sunk Skunk, yeah, yeah, okay. Why is your name the Illegal Seagull? Uh, it's, it's, you know, one of those silly childhood nicknames. Ha <laughs> ha! I don't know if I believe you. I'm not sure you have much room to talk, the Trauma Llama. What? What are you saying about my name? It's a little odd, that's all. How often do you come to the Red Herring? What? What is this? The fifth degree? I actually can't stand this place. I'm only here because that useless lump, the sunk skunk, hangs around here all the time. I thought I'd catch him here eventually. Thank you, sir. You've been very helpful. Yeah, well, I don't let it get around. That would ruin my street cred. Take care. Let's look at the bulletin board. Nope. Let's talk to the dog man, I guess. The Overseas Bernese. 
What else do you want to do for a dog? I don't know. Can I do Ultra Deep? <clears throat> Welcome to the Red Herring, gentlemen. How can I help you today? Are you the owner of this establishment? I, for my sins. It's not unusual to find a Bernese this far from the mountains, isn't it? It's not usual, sir. Ha, huh, you know my, you know your breeds, I'll give you that. Why the change of scenery? Well, you know, I've always had a bit of a wandering eye and itchy paws. I wanted to travel, so I left my hometown as a young pup, and the rest was history. Do you know the sunk skunk? Ugh, that old reprobate. The devil himself couldn't ask for a worse customer. A bar type longer than my tail. I always, and always started in fights and breaking furniture. Why didn't you ban him then? Well, business ain't been so good lately. I knew he worked for some shady customers, so I figured he had to be getting money from somewhere. I was counting on him coughing up and then selling the red heron for a ticket out of this dump. Interesting. He was owed money, yeah, apparently poorly behaved, customer. Got it. What do you know about that lobster over there? Him? He's the ideal customer. Comes in, pays for his drink, sits quietly and leaves. Like clockwork every Thursday. Never starts any trouble. Not like that sunk skunk. Never starts any trouble? Well, the sunk skunk did throw up on his shoes a few days ago. He seemed pretty upset about that. Still didn't raise his voice or nothing. Just glared daggers all night. Hmm. Thank you very much for your help. Have a nice day. It feels like we're raising more questions than we are answering them. All in good time, the Trauma Llama. Patience is a key component of investigative work. Let's see if there's any clues about the red herring that might aid us. Boom. Yuck. Give me a nice fresh salad over fish any day. For the sake of our professional relationship, let's never eat lunch together. What is that? Another of those sardine cans. The packaging is the same as the ones we found next to the sunk skunk. Opium again? How odd. These are actually just regular sardines. Hmm. Hmm. On the ground, what is that? Fragments of a ripped up letter. As far as I can make out, it says, Want him gone. Bottom of the river. Tomorrow night. Investigator, I think this is a hit order. Hmm. But was it a hit on our victim? I'm guessing no, because, uh... He wasn't in the river. He was in the ocean. Right? Important difference. They appear to be varying shapes and sizes of the exact same type of rum. Can I... Investigate anything here? Rope? Nope, nope. Okay, you, bulletin board. How quaint. The snapshot of a tavern brawl. I'm really starting to question what kind of ambience this place is going for. Wait a second. Look. You can see Squeal the Seal and Sung Skunk fighting in this. Oh my... So they do know each other. Should I talk to him again? Uh, yeah, sure. What's the juice on the illegal seagull? That guy totally smuggles drugs, man! So it gathered. Yeah, he pays real good though, so it's worth the extra hassle. Did you just admit to being an accomplice to a federal crime? Uh-uh! Is it still too late for that witness protection deal? Or er, uh-uh, sorry. Any gossip about the overseas Bernies? He's a weird guy. He seems really easy going. Maybe even too nice for his own good, but... But? Well, let's just say the one time someone tried to hold up the red herring, they had to carry him out in a stretcher. Never seen a man break someone's legs so easily. What's with this photo of you and the sunk skunk fighting together? Huh? That's the sunk skunk? Um, yes. Oh man, that's awkward. I thought he was a really smelly badger the whole time. Look, I was really sloshed, alright? Farewell for now. You useless... stupid... Okay. Uh, let's try this door. The glass is too dirty to see into the kitchen, probably for the best. We need more clues, man. There's still so many more slots for more clues. Can you say anything? Is this your handwriting? Kid. Don't make me get my lawyer. I, uh... What? You've got something more to say? No, I guess not. How about those king crabs? Listen, boy, if you know what's good for your health, you're going to stop talking right now. Nice weather we're having. Okay. Yeah, that, that was predictable. Alright, I can take a hint. Goodbye. Once more with you. Tell me about your shipping business. 
It's entirely illegal and above board. Oh, legal and above board. Go on. I would never involve myself in any kind of unauthorized smuggling. Okay. I am an entirely upright and honest citizen. The lady doth protest too much, methinks. Are these your sardines? Well, you can't just take people's stuff. Give them back here. Er, I'm afraid I'll have to hold on to them as evidence. B but I was going to eat them for lunch. How long have you known the Sunk Skunk? Huh, this is the same thing before, right? Oh, there's no some Anna, doesn't there? Well, crud. I guess the last thing to do is Burmese, man, and then we gotta start guessing at criminals. When did you last see the Sunk Skunk? Let me see. It must have been two nights ago. He came in in already three sheets to the wind, ordered some more, got into a massive brawl with Squeal the Seal over there, and limped off with his tail tucked between his legs. I'm not sure this place knows the meaning of the words cut off. What happens to the sunk skunk's tap if he, er, uh, skips town? I break the legs of the man who comes in and tells me that news. That's what happens. Uh, oh. Talk about shooting the messenger. I'm a bit thirsty. Any chance you can spare a drink of salt water? Sure, uh, sure thing on the house. What? Well, we're only one clue short. I don't know, you like salt water, investigator? Er, uh, yes, it's part of this new detox diet I'm trying out. See you around. Uh, hold on, investigator. It looks like my toxicology samples have finished analyzing. Let me, let me guess, he, he died from rice and poisoning? Don't be ridiculous, Bobby Cat. No, his results aren't showing any trace of foul play. Well, other than his blood alcohol content being high enough to poison a small country. So he was drunk as a skunk, eh? Yes, I suppose you could say that. Bam, we got all the clues! And I don't have a clue, personally, so that's... Dumb. Did nobody kill him? Did he just get drunk? No, he had the broken ribs. Maybe he tripped and fell? I don't know. Well, it's been a murky business, gentlemen, but I think I have all the information I need to draw a conclusion. Really? Because I haven't the foggiest idea what's going on. But, but, but for my dramatic accusation, I need to borrow your forensic kit, the Trauma Llama. You see, there's an eleventh and important clue in there that I must flourish at the important moment. Oh, well, alright, if you say so. Um... Yeah, I'm ready. I've darkened the room for a very important reason. This is the part where I overdramatically point my finger at the killer. As always, I'd like to give my sidekicks a chance to show me up. The Tramala, do you want to take a crack at it first? Do I get two two tries? Well, I only have one button to click. Accuse the murderer! Ha, huh, yes, quite correct. There was no murderer. The whole affair was a tragic... Hold it right there! Who? What? The investigator is an imp- The investigator is an imposter! Two, two investigators? What on earth is going on? It's, it's like I'm to my eyeballs and alligators. No, Bobby Cat, there's only one alligator in this room. That man standing there is none other than the nefarious mastermind known as the Crocodile. B but he knew all the inside jokes in the last investigator game. The Crocodile is a criminal genius, Bobby Cat. Studying up on my latest cases and impersonating me, my every mannerism was child's play to him. I suppose I should be flattered. Heh <laughs> heh. Quite frankly, I am too. I too am impressed, investigator. You escaped from my captivity much quicker than I would have given you credit for. You were a worthy foe, Crocodile, but Crocodile, but your scheming plans end here. Oh no, I think not. After all, I succeeded in obtaining what I came here for. The Trauma Llama's forensic kit containing several very powerful sedatives and lethal poisons available only to the most practiced of medical examiners. What? No, give me back my kit. I want... I went to eight years of med school for that. No, don't. The crocodile is... Ah, ah. Also an expert in... Ex an expert combatant. Cut down... by my own... bone saw. Bobby Cat, get an ambulance! But the crocodile's getting away. The trauma llama's more important right now, Bobby Cat. 
Hehe, <laughs> that's right. Tend to your fallen friend like a good little alligator. I'll catch you in the end, you coward. Ah, very well. I look forward to that day. Until then, I'll see you later, investigator. After a while, crocodile. Bam. Okay, so that was way better ending than I anticipated. I did not actually know there was a, a part one, so I was missing out on all those inside jokes. But I will definitely be keeping my eye out for part three, because this was fantastic. And for some reason, I find this background... I'm very jealous of it. I wish I had a background like this, like, behind me right now, in my house. Very good. Very, very good. Well done. Um, good job, uh, Dodge, Dodgers, El Corleo, and Mark Barrett. And, and, um... Oh no, Trollamon died! I missed the most obvious thing! He he didn't make it! Man! That blows! If I ever have a, if I ever have a uh, tombstone, I don't know that I will, because I'm going to live forever. No, because I'm going to be cremated. But if I ever have a tombstone, I want it to read, Why do you care who's lying here? No, that's, that's all it'll be. But yeah, great game. Um, thanks for making it, guys, if you're watching this. Thanks for watching it, guys, if you're watching this. Other... Uh, non-maker watchers, you know, the, the Reckoners. Um, yeah, thanks. See you guys in the next video. Signature sign-off.